Hey, let's get cricket back in here. Only a half hour left, and then we leave D.C. Until next time, we'll be back in New York City tomorrow for the rest of the week. And I then we be. go on a little vacation. You're not on the show tomorrow? Um, tomorrow I am. And I, then Friday you're going, oh, that's right, we didn't get your plug. I, I have to because last week was a disaster because I switched the date. Fort Lauderdale Improv this Thursday, tomorrow through Saturday. 954 Tomorrow through Saturday? Yeah, All tomorrow's right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I fly tomorrow, do the show tomorrow. Oh, I got you. Okay. I got uh, all confused. What happened, Dee? What's the matter? The cl- uh, I'm tingled. Hold on. Uh-oh. You're tingled? <laughs> she just came out of a blackout. Oh, Ooh, nice. I don't know how it got on the chair like that. Now it's all... Her headphone cord is twisted around the chair. Jesus. Ben's flipped it over. He's beating oh, it with his hog. <laughs> hog. I like that word, hog. Hog. Ben was in the corner wrestling his own hog. There, oh, there he's it all. is. He's, Thank you, Ben. He had to have Steve Irwin come in and hold it down. <laughs> oh, my God. Offended, highlighted. Yeah, we're going to have yeah. you read some stuff uh, as the grand finale of your appearance on our program today there, Didi. <sighs> dirty, dirty good. Do we have time to get Didi's mom on the phone, or are we running out of time? We got the um, the Norton message, Norton's mom's uh, message there that we want to play for Didi's mom, maybe. What's wrong, Didi? I'm just looking at the picture. <laughs> Hot, right? <laughs> yeah, that's like hardcore pornography. Yeah. She's yeah. big areolas. What Isn't a lovely nice? girl. Yeah. <laughs> You said you might go, uh, you know, you might go lesbo just to I'm, try it. I'm not going to go lesbo, but I'm just saying you should never say never. If, you know, hey, who knows, you're good friends, just one night, want to check it out, <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you could be a I'm lesbian not... and not even know it with all the blacking <laughs> out you've been doing. You, no, Betsy. I would know. I would know. Really? Sure. You, <laughs> Betsy. <laughs> yeah. Betsy. Yeah, How about if she's like, come on, help me out. It's just dry, lick it a little. Just be oh, a fan. Oh, is that... What, uh, what 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 do we got, Ben? Oh, uh, Dee Dee's mom's on the phone. Yeah, Dee Dee's mom. Oh boy, you sure didn't. Uh, wow, we didn't waste any time. Wow. Yeah. Dee Dee's mom. Dee Dee's mom. Hi, Dee Dee's mom. It's Opie and Anthony again. Your, Hi. Your daughter's doing a, a great morning. job once again on our radio program. She brought in the picture of her uh, looking like Amy Carter from the from uh, from the old days there. And look what happened exactly. So she really looked like Amy Carter growing up? Did you notice that right away uh, when, when the Carters took the White House? Uh, did you say, wow, my daughter kind of looks like her? Yeah? You didn't see it? or? No. Hmm. Yeah. Um, we, we, boy, boy, have we been learning a lot today about Dee Dee. We have... I don't know. It seems like you know a lot of this stuff. Is she, we didn't know she really did have this wild side years ago. You didn't. Well, well, yeah, she did. Kept it hidden from herself. <laughs> seems like uh, she uh, she she would wake up and then realize, oh my goodness, I seem to have uh, forgotten the past few hours or days. Yeah. Yeah, you know she she was married in the past, huh? Yeah, there's that English guy that she met in Vegas. Uh, he was oh yeah, his, he was a Sir Sir Joel. <laughs> yeah, that was counterfeit too. I'm sure. Sir counterfeit. Sir counterfeit. Sir fake. Mm. Sir fake a lot. It was Sir Osis of the liver. <laughs> <laughs> that old Bugs Bunny gag. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, she she met him at the roulette table, got all drunk. Uh, next thing she knows, she she woke up and she was married to the guy. And that's what I'm hearing. Why you heard a different story? Oh, no, no. Wow, you never told your mom the details about the English guy. No. Yeah, she she was uh, obviously drinking. She had a problem with drinking. Uh, you know that, right? right. Yeah, I, but thank that. God. But not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, absolutely. It's been 11 years. We were very proud of very uh, proud. Dee Dee. And uh, she woke up and, and was married to this guy and then decided uh, he was English. He had an right, accent. Hold on, hold on. We can't hear Dee Dee's mom. Oh, the, Stop the bit. Can't hear mom. The audience can't? Oh, they can't hear you, mom. Hold on. Let me see. A little uh, technical difficulty. Come on, guys. Here. Come on. Try that. Oh, they Try that. That's great. Can yeah, they hear mom? Yeah. Well, hopefully they can. 
<laughs> we, we will soon see. Keep refreshing the instant feedback and see if they could hear. Um, yeah, so so she uh, woke up next to this guy and then decided she was going to try to make it work. Right. Now, that seems a little odd. It seems like you would right away go, oh, my God, if I'm waking up and I don't even know who this guy is, I better get an annulment uh, lickety split. Well, no, but see, she was always brought up to keep striving, keep striving. <laughs> Look at the mom putting, trying to put a positive spin on this thing. I love trying you, Trying to po- put a positive spin, like, look at my g- little girl. She was determined to make it work. Right. Great. Never give up, unless you really have to after trying. You as a mom, though, didn't you realize something might be a tad bit wrong that she's a... Uh... Well, yeah, but it was already a fact after we found out, see? What about the... Uh, no, I mean I mean, as far as her drinking goes, because some people can drink and they're fine. Did she ever drink at, like, family holidays or something? <laughs> no, or... no, no. She and, and then she was gone after high school, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then she, we missed all that part. Mm-hmm. That's when she went wild after high school. Wasn't yep. Yep. Mm. Wow. Uh huh. Well, um, we know how moms can be. I know uh, my own mom uh, has to deal with me doing this program, and then I go over there like her cute little boy that she remembers from years ago. And meanwhile, you know, on the it, air, it, it's got to be heartbreaking for her. Uh, sometimes it is. She's got to turn this program off. She cannot even listen to her own son's uh, show. <laughs> Uh, and then opie has got the same issues. There are times where his mom's yeah. got to just turn the, the radio off. Yeah. Um, that's bad enough. But our own little Jimmy Norton, who uh, is on this program also, he really has some problems. Like what kind? Well, not only because With who? His mother? Well, well he likes uh, prostitutes to come oh. over and take leaks on his chest. And oh. every once in a while... Oh, every, no, 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 no. Every, no, once no. In a while, every once in a while, a log will fall out he as well. He was brought up different, Right. No, my well, my mom. Yeah, they did a nice job raising me. They were very lovely. Uh, uh-huh. Dee Dee's mom. I've met Norton's uh, parents. They're absolutely lovely people. The nicest people you'd ever want to meet. You, you know what? You know what happened? What? He lived on a hill. I know he lived on a hill because the fruit always falls near the tree, and he must have done a lot of rolling. Oh, is that it? He rolled away from. Look at you. You got a sense of humor too, don't you? Well, kind of. Yeah. I have to have. Apparently, I was a piece of tapered fruit that came out in a banana shape. So, um, Norton likes to because it was brown. Norton likes to talk openly about his personal life on the program, which is uh, quite different than most people. Is, is that his self therapy there? Yeah, I kind of, in a way, it helps. Yeah, not and much, but I still act out on it. So. Makes for embarrassing situations, though. And just like all our moms, uh, Norton's mom was listening one day and heard some real crazy stuff and decided to to reach out to her son and uh, leave a little voicemail on his uh, machine there. <laughs> and we want you to we want you to listen to this voicemail now. And this is Norton's mom. This is no radio bit. All right. So listen in and um I don't know, I'd like to get another mother's opinion on this advice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is We're what, listening. This is Norton's mom, everyone. Oh, Norton's mom. Hey, let's get cricket back in here. Only a half hour left, and then we leave D.C. Until next time, we'll be back in New York City tomorrow for the rest of the week. And I then we be. go on a little vacation. You're not on the show tomorrow? Um, tomorrow I am. And I, then Friday you're going, oh, that's right, we didn't get your plug. I, I have to because last week was a disaster because I switched the date. Fort Lauderdale Improv this Thursday, tomorrow through Saturday. 954 Tomorrow through Saturday? Yeah, oh, tomorrow's nice. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I fly tomorrow, do the show tomorrow. Oh, I got you. Okay. I got uh, all confused. What happened, Dee Dee? What's the matter? I'm tingled. Hold on. Uh-oh. You're tingled? <laughs> she just came out of a blackout. Oh, Ooh, nice. I don't know how it got on the chair like that. Now it's all, her headphone cord is twisted around the chair. <laughs> Jesus. Ben's flipped it over. He's beating oh, it with his hog. <laughs> hog. I like that word, hog. Hog. <laughs> ben was in the corner wrestling his own hog. There he is. There it is. is. <laughs> he had to have Steve Irwin come in and hold it down. <laughs> oh, my God. Offended, highlighted. Yeah, we're going to have yeah. you read some stuff uh, as the grand finale of your appearance on our program today there, Dee Dee. <sighs> dirty, dirty girl. Do we have time to get Dee Dee's mom on the phone, or are we running out of time? We got the um, the Norton message, Norton's mom's uh, message there. That we... So oh. if, if Jimmy... Oh, she's if trying you're gonna, so hard. If you're going to give up hookers and go to the gym, Jimmy, just wear an Aussie shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to be a good replacement. So. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, see, you got to take up knitting. Knitting? <laughs> she wanted sure. him to, you know, go to the gym, maybe work out. That was the gym and not a guy named Jim. Yeah, downstairs. no, the gym. Okay, uh-huh. so go to the gym Tone downstairs. up a little. Tone up. 
and uh, give up the uh, the hookers. Uh, but that was pretty good advice, right? She used a little Dr. I, I Phil. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. Well, you think no, knitting it, might help? It will. It'll keep the hands busy. Any, any oh. advice uh, for little Jimmy Norton? Take up knitting. No, like some real advice. Could You're knit myself a rope and stool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My mother. No real advice for Jimmy Norton? Uh, nothing I can think of right offhand. It's not a situation she's probably used to dealing with. No, she's <laughs> hookers. <laughs> mm. He's got to get another hobby. That's not really a hobby. Yeah, it's an addiction. Yes, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. It's not an addiction. It's a hobby. You don't. Think, I like uh, the way uh, her mom thinks. That's helpful. Yeah, it's a That's hobby. Just, just a little thing I do. It's kind of like putting model planes together, I except I'm right. dehumanizing someone. I was going to say. Right, right. <laughs> I was going to say, it's just like yeah, model the uh, model airplane. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, yo, why don't you have um, your mature listeners send you in one-liner advice and then put them in a hat or a shoe and pick oh. one out a day? And take that advice. Sam, you want to produce this radio show? That's, that's a good one. So that's much better than the advice we get from our own producers. Oh, well, see. Oof. I see you. Uh, I see. No, Karen. Why? No pictures today. Dude, no. What's that for? <laughs> What? I'm happy to leave. Thank Why are we you. taking pictures today? I don't know. They said they wanted you to come and take pictures. No, oh, no pictures today. Oh, God. No, I'm exhausted. I am so sick of pictures. I'm really sick of pictures. Yeah. Well, you could autograph Thank them you. and sell what? them. No. I just gotta take them. no. Take for what? Pictures. For what? Yes. For what? For what? For the boss. The boss wants pictures taken. What? Boss wants pictures. Which yes. boss? For what? All the bosses. Pictures. For Especially what? They, I'm not even kidding they today. They need new photos. Well, someone's got to tell us before they take the picture so, you know, so, you can comb your so hair. we can shower right. and not be hung over and tired. No, fine. I'm not taking any more pictures. You look very svelte in that shirt, actually. It's for promo materials, guys. That's what well, yeah, someone's got to tell us ahead picture of time. I'm not even kidding anymore. Photo are you, are you Every on time they take Diva. photos, yeah. we look like, we look awful. Are you on the because air no one arguing? tells us ahead of time. I'm, yeah. I'm serious. No. This is live on the air arguing. Yeah, we're arguing on the air live. <laughs> this is our stupid radio show. <laughs> You're yeah. asked, can you believe it? I know that we actually do this on the air. What's up? You go all to have to take up knitting. Knitting? That, that, wow, she's really into the knitting. Has that ever worked for Didi or anything? Didi, no. did you knit? No. You never knitted? He doesn't, he doesn't cook either. <laughs> you don't cook, huh? Well, I go. cook, but I'm not a cook like her. Okay. Yeah, you She's just what cook. order a lot of takeout. Or no, really, oh, have have cook. have your listeners send in advice and yeah. just pick it out of the All shoe right. and. Oh my you know. God. They could take pictures next time we're down here and warn us. Up yeah. No, I'm not. No. I'm, I, you know, and, and why can't he take the picture like that? And the listeners could abuse us all all they want. I'm I'm so sick of the pictures of us just looking tired and 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 non showered Nothing and worse hung than over. The after the show picture. You want a new a new image? No. If they want yeah. pictures next time, they can warn us ahead of time, and 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 we'll shave and do all that stuff. Right. I'm so sick of bad publicity photos. But see, I understand that would shatter your image. You know, here I see the promo now. You know, photo diva, have fun with it. I don't care, but I'm dead serious. I'm so sick and tired. And then the pictures look bad. So then they Photoshop my eyes wide open with a smile. I look like a fucking retard. Oh, watch your language. <laughs> I, I, I look worse Be. than I, I look worse than Terry Schiavo in half these pictures. Oh. My, my mouth is open. I'm smiling, and my eyes are as wide oh. as they possibly can oh. be. Oh, my neck is twice as long because they decide my neck needs to be longer. I'm so done with photographs. No pictures today. No Anthony, photographers. Anthony, help me out with this. Seriously. No pictures today. When did D you? Dee Dee, are you there? Ben, when did you find out Dee -Dee. they wanted photographs? <laughs> Dee Dee, are you there? Yes, I'm here, but they're talking. A, this isn't a show. <laughs> this you is what we talk. do. They need to go out and, and uh, have a drink, I guess. Oh, that's good advice. Maybe, you, maybe your daughter can join us and no, pass no, no, out no, somewhere. No, 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 no. I need to knit and they need to get drunk. <laughs> what are these photographs going to be used for? What are they used for? I'm serious. Look at Ben. You're Don't the producer. Take him, what, what, you ben knew ahead of time. I'm doing shit. Wow, Ben is really belligerent. Uh-oh. Ben, what, seriously, you didn't tell us ahead of time and you're getting all pissed, but you know what? Someone has to tell us when this shit's going on. You're the producer. I if you know ahead of time, I might have forgot to, to tell you about it. But stop bitching. The listeners get annoyed. I get, it's just getting annoying. Tough well, shit. Bitch. I might have. I probably forgot to tell you about the photos. About a million. Well, what, are they, what are they for? They just have, need more photos for if they need photos. It, like the well, photos standing out there. Yeah. Well, that's another. The photo that's in the in the in the the stand up. 
That's all, that, that's a horrible photograph. But you know why? Because we were tired and they came in after uh, us doing a morning show and no one warned us. Never happy. No one warned us. They have to they have to meditate. They Dude, have to go and meditate. I can oh, show you. Meditation. I can prove my point. You can say I'm tired all the time, whatever. But <laughs> the last time they didn't like the photographs because we were tired, so they photoshopped our faces to look like freaking freaking Frankenstein. Don't do it. I don't care. Good. We're not doing them. I'd like to do a picture. Photo diva on the way. <laughs> Photo diva. Hey, will that guy stick around if Robert Plant's in the area? We can do me and Robert. Hey, I'm not phone. Robert Plant, but will I do? Uh, hey, Mad Mexican, what's up? It's not even hey, Robert hey, Kelly. Hey, tell you what, I got something for Jim, and then uh -oh. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I, I'm doing a show. All right. Okay? <laughs> Jim, I didn't see you on Valentine's Day, so I got you. Okay, Jim, I didn't see you on Valentine's Day, so I got you this for Valentine's Day. It's all yours. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> What is it there, man? I don't know. It looks like a genetic thing gone wild or something. No, you got to explain uh, it. We're on the radio. Okay. Oh, okay, that's what it is. It's a genetic doll that uh, they call kids something sugar, or other. Sugar stuff. loaf costume kids. <laughs> and it has. A, it's got like a. You hear that? Uh, sounds weird. Everybody it's, thinks that's kind of creepy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's got like my face. It looks like me, with a black fur around it and two red ears, <laughs> and it says in a red heart on the stomach, "Love you." Oh. So wow. uh, yes. I didn't see you on Valentine's Day. Jim, good to uh, see you again. Good Gentlemen, to see you. Thank you. Care. I'm going to go back to offend the masses. Thank we'll you, Mad you. Mexican. Aloha. Okay. Aloha. Wow. All right. Is that the weirdest thing anyone's there ever you go. given you? It looks like Chaka from Land of the Lost. It does. It's like a kid, a baby face <laughs> in a bear suit. It, it kind of looks like you, though. A, a really younger does. version of you. If, if, some, if, if, someone, if, if me and Steve had a baby, this is what it would look like. It would be all cozy <laughs> with your face. My face and a bearish body. Anyway, so uh, where were we? Um, you need to meditate. Saying no pictures, but uh, I because you know what I don't want. I just don't want just taken explain after the show. Yeah, explain it in a way where people will understand. Because I know I sound like a, an idiot, but we are exhausted after the show. Anytime pictures are taken after the show, they come out awful because we are exhausted. So yes, there will be no pictures today. You guys are vain. No, Ooh. it's not even. It's not even that. It's 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 so much more involved than that. The guy that took the that came in with the camera, first of all. The first uh, publicity photo we ever took, he liked um, Anthony in the in the photo because Anthony raised his eyebrow, which is fine. But I looked stupid in the picture, so instead of taking another one and maybe having Anthony do the same pose, he decided to Photoshop my face, and and we looked at the pictures. Uh, to this day, it pisses me off. And we looked at the pictures on online, yeah. and I go, "Don't do that. It looks ridiculous." And he and he insisted on doing it anyway. Well, you ought to have your mother take your pictures. Myself. Oh. What? Have your mother take your pictures. I'm not going to take any pictures today. That's not a problem. No, but because uh, right. I remember you showing me, well, no, we could open up your eyes and make you smile more. And I go, dude, don't do that. It looks awful. Next thing you know, uh, fast forward two or three weeks, we're at our first, uh, you know, promotion for XM, and we're handing out these, uh, these, uh, these photos, and they look just absolutely stupid. And then my neck was too long. Because well, what happened, they took a, uh, uh, my head from another picture and threw it on my body. It actually didn't happen. I know, I know you think that after I showed you how he did that, but it actually didn't happen. I know that, that, I know that that's But you did Photoshop the eyes wide open and all that. Not, on that. not on the picture that ended up getting published. It was an unretouched picture. No way. I know it looks that way. No I way. could show you the original. No way. No I way. Can show you the original. It's Maybe impossible. It's longer or something. <laughs> Remember the eyes were wide I open and the smile. I, it's impossible you to had smile two and have Adam's your, apples. Yeah, and it's impossible to have your two eyes Adam's wide apples. open and smiling at the same time. It's impossible. Yeah. And there were leaves behind him where apparently he was eating something out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Old brontosaurus. Neck. I do. I do my well, best for you guys. And if you guys want to do a picture when you're not on there, happy to do it for you. Uh, anytime. What are these photos for? No one has. No They're one. Not, told we're us not anything. doing it anymore. But yeah. I, you know. What I were they for, though? Uh, someone asked. Look, I'm here for Robert Plant, and I'm here for the for for a bunch Boy. of the other on there folks. Right. And so they said, while you're here, we need to get some more pictures because we're short on them, and we need to get some more pictures right. so, to have in the hopper. So uh -oh. that's the only reason I came in here. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm not blaming. No one told us, and you know. And there's no, no huge. There's no huge yeah. T-shirt for us to get in. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah. This is uh, right ending now. in a cluster F. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I don't. All right, man. I don't no mean problem. to attack you. I'm sorry. I don't take it personally. I just don't. You know. Just want you guys to know I'm on your side. That's all. But you did Photoshop that shot. I'll He's prove you. I'll prove it to you that it's not true. He's denying it. I'll show you the original unretouched file. Because I know what you're talking about. Because after we did that, and I, they said you didn't like it, you right. didn't do it. Promise. Swear to God. Someone throw that uh, photograph up on, on the website. So I, I, it proves I'm not vain, it, but it just looks completely ridiculous. And then have fun with it. I don't care. Which is why we went back up to New York and did it again. Right. 
Mm-hmm. What time he, he takes some pictures with Robert Plant? That's cool. Yeah. He he needs a picture with Robert Plant. I'll Just make come that up, happen. Not a problem. All right. I'll make it happen. They're doing the meet and greet afterwards. Dee Dee's mom. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. You, you guys goes. need to go yeah. to therapy somewhere. I know. Yeah, we, I mean, know. we admitted we uh, when the show what, started. Why don't you use your baby pictures? Uh, uh we've done that. we've done that in the past. We've done too. that. Yeah. Ridiculous. Well, then have Sam uh, Dee Dee uh, take some pictures. <laughs> He's real good with a camera. Yeah. All right, Dee Dee. Okay. This is it for the news for the for, <clears throat> for the day. Uh, Finally, yeah. should we yeah. let your mom go, or or she hey. could be she could listen in and and and, no, and be all proud. No, 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 no. We got to do meals on wheels. We have to leave. Oh, okay. oh meals on wheels. Very nice. You're We're sick. hungry. All right. Well. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. There she goes, Dee Dee's mom. Bye, mom. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, I was waiting for the ticker ticker noise. Okay. Um, here's some big news. Hyundai Motor America is the first automaker to add standard XM satellite radio to its full vehicle lineup. All How about right. that? Isn't that kick-ass? Yes. Hyundai. Another huge announcement for XM satellite radio. Yes. yes. Starting in 2006, XM radios will be factory installed in all Hyundai models, beginning with the all-new Sonata, Santa Fe, Elantra, I have one of those, and the upcoming replacement for the XG350 Premium Sedan. How, How great that? is that? That and is great. Right? And that's the key to this whole thing. Factory installed. Yes. Yep. But I understand, though, not to downplay XM's announcement, but Sirius has announced the Tony Hawk show has turned into the Tony Hawk channel. So it's going to be 24 hours of skateboarding sounds and tubular noises. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, speaking of cars, vehicles... I think, actually, Sirius did announce that their uh, newest unit is coming out, and it is the size of a Hyundai. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, similar thing. Well, they, I, this is not even to make fun of Sirius, but they did announce a factory install for all 1971 Pintos. <laughs> <laughs> Those idiots. Uh, all kidding aside, Howard has no idea what he got himself into. Have fun over there. Good luck to you. I know, that's pretty it, kick it. Enjoy the money. Which is which is a great thing, obviously. But as far as getting an audience, good effing luck. Sirius is good though, man. Because if you can just like you put it in the kitchen, like if you take out the microwave, it fits perfectly where that used to hang. <laughs> Instead of eating omelets, you can just uh, listen to your favorite radio programming with commercials. The stuff Elo was telling us after the show yesterday. Oh my God. Oh, nice. Good nice. luck. Oh. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Some sad news here. Somebody passed away. Steelers. Football star um, David Little, he died while weightlifting at home in Miami. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay. He was only forty-six. <laughs> That's terrific. Oh. No, no. That's terrific. Oh, yeah. His, steroids? No, weightlifting, not steroids. But Nothing about steroids. Did his heart stop? Here. How would it, how did he die weightlifting? I don't know. I guess it maybe fell on it. He was suffocated. By the barbell. Oh, man. <laughs> what a, uh, yeah, his his children, uh, David Jr. and Darian, found him. Oh. Yeah, it, that's sad. He can, hey, he take that with you for the rest of your life, kids. Yeah. Couldn't get it off his chest. Couldn't get it off of there, rolled onto his neck. Yeah. Suffocated. Couldn't him. he turn to the left? You can't turn? I think there's a way to get those goddamn weights off yourself, unless it just crashed down and crushed his windpipe. Oh, maybe it slipped out of his hand or something when he was yeah, trying to push it up? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's oh. sad. <laughs> but I have some good news for your female listeners. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Um, well, it shows studies are showing that your monthly visit from Aunt Flo helps you live longer. Yeah. Really? Bloody ridiculous, but it's true. Dr. Thomas Pearl, he's a New England doctor, says that women are almost six times as likely to live to 100 as men. And he thinks it's because of your monthly visit from Aunt Flo, because iron helps produce Free radicals. That's not what it is. It's yes, just women it don't have them nagging them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the blood loss makes most women iron deficient. So to test his theory, he's avoiding red meat and donating a pint of blood bi-monthly to make himself iron deficient to see if he lives to 100. He said that I menstruate, but only eight, every eight weeks. So the rest of the time he's like skiing. And so stuff. he's simulating giving himself a period. Yeah. What an ass. What a, he should just dump it into his underwear and walk around. Ew. <laughs> and to be realistic. I mean, not much. <laughs> Smell up the room and not fuck his spouse. Ew. Be cranky and annoy everyone. Is he also a melodramatic asshole? <laughs> 
<laughs> eight days a month, he gives blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> and he cries three days before he gives blood. Hell. Nobody loves me. I'm fat. <laughs> Yuck. Well, uh, uh, old pulp boxers. <laughs> you should try it, Jimmy. <laughs> Oh. Try not eating red meat and do that. Um, so, oh, how awful. That's horrible. That's pretty much the news. I mean, the big deal is the news. What about Oprah? Yeah. Oh, I, see, I don't have that on my All thing. right, read the Oprah story. Oh, it's a good one. Hold read. Oprah to taste the poor life. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey is giving her fancy surroundings to live in a public housing project in Chicago. The talk show hostess who's been known to give away cars to her entire studio audience, who all she had for that, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, will spend a month in the downscale digs as part of a TV series she's producing about the housing crisis in the country's yeah. inner cities. I'm no, sure I don't it'll be see her just that. like her, it's just like anyone else living in the project. There won't be security around her. She won't have to worry about her life being taken as she walks up the stair or into an elevator in one of these buildings. Yeah. She's going to have a uh, team of security guards of, there. Of course, course she is. is. Why? But because you know, like everybody in that building could have a team of security guards. But speak, oh, what a phony. But speaking of periods, I understand that Oprah's going to donate hers to have the project's <laughs> building painted. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> That's just gross. Uh, <laughs> that's gross. Sucks. So that's do you want me to read about the anal cherry in New York oh, yeah. City? Well, how much time we got left in the show? <laughs> or should I say that? A couple minutes? Three minutes or so? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, a lot of people want to hear you read uh, read some dirty stuff. So a little smut. Oh, so Ben got some God, stuff together God, I'm glad my mom's off the line. All right. Yeah, well, she's not. So. Here I go. Marilyn leaves her anal cherry in New York City. Hmm. Have you ever been fucked up the ass? Hold on, hold on, Steve. This isn't a news story. Jesus. Maybe in your world this is news. <laughs> All right. What kind of an awful dark place does he live in that this is yeah. considered headline news? Oh my God. She lost her anal cherry. This is the lighter side of the news, you know? The All wacky right. story that, that yeah. ends the newscast. The human interest. <laughs> human <laughs> interest, right. Uh, and, she, and he pulled it out, and there was a lima bean, bean skin on his cock head. I'm John Montone. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got a llama bean skin. Oh. Fool. Do you want me to continue? Sure. Okay, ahead. have you ever been fucked up the ass? Oh, one oh. time at uh, Bourbon Street, I woke up in a garage <laughs> of a <laughs> gas station. A bathroom of a gas station. Oh, um, do you want to fuck me up the ass? Most of the time, I'm so fucking horny, I don't know what to do with myself. The first time I had anal sex, I was in New York City. So only read the highlighted ones. You ever, you ever, uh, you ever uh, partake in that type of uh, action? I played the fifth. Uh, so I asked this right, wait, top we got sexy theory on the stranger fifth thing. who that happens means, to that be really... Yes, yes. Well, you the know, fifth, if your significant absolutely. other wants you to experiment, you... Hey, there you go. You Please bite the him. pillow. You roll over on your belly. You bite the pillow. <laughs> bite that pillow, right? Yeah. <laughs> Little fists clenching and unclenching. Oh. I'm not going to talk about it. Did you like it or Ow. not? Did it steam? <laughs> Ow, it steams. It, it, it hurt a little, that's all I'll say. Oh, hey, no, you're honest. I like that. But, you know, you wanted to do it one time, I gave it a try. Only one? whirl. Well, I pleaded. <laughs> so ah, I a few times. The like, once, you realized it was not too bad. No, it, it just, you know, you tried to, you know, don't you try to please your significant others? You do what they want, right? Certainly. There yeah. you go. There you go. So you figured it I just try to please my doctor at this point, so. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't saying, hip, hip, cheerio. <laughs> Give it up, but then. <laughs> and all that sort of rot. <laughs> uh, okay. No, it wasn't the English counterfeiter? The English counterfeiter. Yeah. Was it him? No. Oh, I no. thought it was him. Somebody it was else. the Secret Service agent, so he didn't arrest her. No. No, no, no. This is a few years after that. Oh, okay. So I asked this tall, sexy stranger who happened to be really fucking hot if he'd like to go for a drink. I could really use a stiff one. Ah, I bet. <laughs> he, he smiled and laughed, obviously getting 